I did make a long ass video um, in the past, um, maybe like two weeks ago, maybe. Feels like saying how much that I dislike 2K20. There are still issues. Um, still, there are loading screen issues. Um, but for the most part, I give my hat off to 2K20. They have done more things and they have fixed most of the problems uh, that I had issues with, which is good. Um, as you can tell, because I'm actually recording something different <laughs> than a rant video. So, this is going to be something a little different that I started, you know, working with on my career mode when um, I got finished with it on the first time. I did something a little different. As you can see, um, I've got two separate characters. Uh, one is called Sean Moxley. The second is called Victoria Rollins. Now, trying something a little different, I figured I'd have a little fun with this. Uh, basically, what we're doing is like what would happen if, you know, in an alternate universe, let's say that we had the son of John Moxley, the daughter of, you know, Seth Rollins, go to travel the world together. So, just something a little fun, whatnot. Anyways. Enough of the chit chat. Let's get some story going. Now I have already played this story before, so I mean, if I sound bored at all, I'm not. <laughs> I just want to make sure that you guys know that I'm not really bored. I already know what's coming up. Control the lights. Green? Red. White. For lots of light. That one's a little darker though. Red was one of the toughest opponents I ever faced. No matter how hard I hit her, which was pretty hard, she never backed down. Sorry, it feels strange to stand up here and talk about her in the past tense. Don't get me wrong, I'm honored to do this, but I never thought it would happen so soon for Red or her best friend, Trey. Wherever Red went, Trey was there too. And tonight's no different. They truly are a package deal. They always had each other's backs, and that was certainly the case when I faced off against Red in a Money in the Bank ladder match. Right now, this is anyone's match as far as I'm concerned. I'm sticking with my pick of the rookie sensation, Red, to take home the briefcase. Red faced an uphill battle just to qualify for this match. You have to wonder if that'll affect your chances here tonight. Of course it will. You need to be fully rested if you want to win a grueling match like this. And Red came into tonight running on fumes. And now that one's countered. That Jeez. was impressive, Michael. Ouch. Harsh impact. Yeah. Nailed it! Back suplex! Raw power in play. Bringing it back into the ring. Going to the top, high risk. Elbow drop! And there's a takedown. Ronda Rousey got out of there in time. Scoop slam! She is just too quick. Got out of the way in a hurry. Elbow smash! Oh, foot just stomping down. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip! Big, big back body drop. One elevation. Boom, boom, persistent barrage. Oh, and a knee. And another. Just endless knee. It's going to be a race to the briefcase between Red and Ronda Rousey. Hold on, the rest of their opponents are not ready for this match to be over. And Red and Ronda come crashing down. 
It's an absolute free-for-all to see who's going to get the money in the bank briefcase. What are you guys reaching for? Ronda and Red have recovered, and I think they might have other plans. Oh, no. This is total chaos. The window of opportunity is now wide open for Red and Ronda Rousey. Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. The object here is so simple that even Saxton can understand. A superstar must climb the ladder and grab the briefcase, thus winning the right to compete for a WWE Championship at the time of their choosing over the next 365 days. Here's the setup. Here we go. Boom! If she could just pull the briefcase down, she will win this thing. Hey, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? Yeah, but when you miss a shot, you don't usually... <laughs> Fall 15 feet. Going up top. Here she goes again. Look out! Oh, the double knee! What impact! Keep your eye. Nobody all the way from the top rope. 450 nailed it. Wrench in the arm. Not done yet. Into the arm breaker. Hammerlock. Float over, oh. and do it. Straight punch. Perhaps looking to take the action to the outside here. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Devastating kick. Boom, what a forearm. Back in the ring now. Not what she was looking for. Shoulder tackle. Ooh, what impact. Oh, nasty impact. And Charlotte does what she does best. Rousey has her up. A running hurricane Rana. Beautiful. And I think we just might see. What a stop to the back of the neck. Just like she envisioned. Oh, man, Ronda Rousey. Red setting up for something big. Well, if Red thinks she can match Ronda Rousey with strikes, then she's insane. Go for the legs. The legs. And now Ronda is punishing Red. Is it too late to change my pick? Wait a second. Red reverses. Zelina Vega has recovered and is setting up a ladder. This is her chance. She's using everything she has left to drag herself up each rung. But will it be enough? It might not be. Red's going to try to beat Zelina to the top. Hold on, it's Andrade. What's he doing out here? Is he putting Zelina Vega on his shoulders? How is this legal? It's not only legal, it's smart. It's Trey. I think he's seen enough from Andrade. Trey has neutralized Andrade. And that was the opening Red needed. This pains me to admit, Byron, but you might have been right about your predictions. She's going to do it. In her first attempt, Red is going to win the Money in the Bank ladder match. Wait, it's Ronda Rousey. This isn't over yet. Ronda's got Red's arm. Armbar on the top of the ladder. And she's got it locked in. Red's in big trouble. Man, that's going to be hard for her to grab a briefcase with a broken arm. Can she escaped before it's too late. And what's going to happen next? Why not? When we come back to this convention. You're on a pay per view. Oh my god, of all the theme songs to be going off. I'm not sure if it's playing in the background because of uh, copyright infringement or whatever, but Ronda Rousey's music is playing in the background. Because, of course, it is.
or these commercial breaks will take five hours. That's being generous. They're going to take eight hours. Now, this truly is a historic day. I don't think I've seen you dressed up since our senior prom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Our one and only date together because no one else would go with us. I remember showing up in that sweet homemade million dollar man suit. Didn't you wear a cane mask? No wonder we couldn't get dates. To be fair, the theme of the prom was yeah, a masquerade. Like a eh, still thing. weird. Oh, wait, wait, let's open my hair. You have the list, right? No, I thought you had it. Seriously? I put it in the safe just like you told me to. Man, the way you treat that thing, you'd think it was the Magnet Carta. Oh, Did you say old. Magnet? Yeah, it's some really old, valuable Magnet, right? Just get it out of there. <laughs> no you one was going to break into a hotel room and steal magnet. an old piece of notebook paper from high school. It's not just an old piece of paper. That list has been the roadmap to our entire careers, and now there's only one thing left to cross off. Your feet dangling. Did you forget the combination? It might have slipped my mind, but don't worry, I wrote it down on my phone. Which is also in the safe. This is why I always said we should have got the list tattooed on us. No well, chance of losing it, and we'd have way more street cred. Yeah? Well, I'm going to be getting a teardrop tattoo if you don't get that thing open. Moxley, you didn't teach your son how to open a bank without the code? Come on! <laughs> I'm probably gonna make lots of those jokes. Don't ask me to change the name though, I swear, because if I have to change the name, the loading screen is gonna take like 30 minutes. And it's also my videos, so I get to do what I want. <laughs> I just hope that some people will like this. This is what's going to give us confidence, recognition, success, everything we've ever wanted. Your Earth Science Notebook is gonna do all that? Wait, no, the, the Vegas we're going to use it to make a list of everything we'll accomplish someday when we become WWE superstars. We could do that. Or we could play my favorite lunchtime game, guess what Mr. Bowman's sweat stains look like today. I'm kind of seeing a heart shape, what do you think? I think you need to take this seriously. Besides, it's a proven fact that if you write down your goals, it helps you achieve them. Actually, now I'm thinking really? it looks more like a one-eared rabbit. That, that works. Fine. I'll go first to get the ball rolling. Become WWE Divas in, uh, Champion. Your turn. Okay. Star in a WWE action movie. Paul Brown's as well. Really? <laughs> That's one of your goals? Do you want me to do the list or not? Besides, it's a proven fact, WWE action movies are some of the finest pieces of cinematic art ever produced, so it would be an honor to appear in one. Whatever. <laughs> Train at the dungeon. Come up with awesome wrestling names. Team with Mickey James. Get my own action figure. Compete on yeah, NXT. Win a dance-off. Wrestle Lita. Find out what's inside what Undertaker's urn. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Be in a WWE video game. Win a ladder match. I've got a match for you. My butt, your face. That looks so, so What are you two fartwads doing? <laughs> this table is reserved for wrestling team members only. I thought there was a lot of boogers stuck underneath it. <laughs> Bunny, you can leave now. Sorry, we're busy. Get my own action figure, become WWE Divas Champion. Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey! Being immortalized in semi-posable plastic is the greatest thing a human being can achieve. Yes, yeah, semi. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What? Are you what? Like this? <laughs> that was a huge mistake. Uh -oh. oh, it's on! It's on now! They're going toe to toe. You know what they say, shit's about to go down. I can't tell if that's a man or a woman beside her on, on the right. I think it's a woman. I'm not sure. Uh. 
Is this the money? This is the large board thing. I don't think that really it feels like this. For one, can't wait to see Red put Brooklyn in her place. Oh, so much for unbiased commentary. Hey, this is Red's memory of how it went down, so of course I'm pulling for her. You are too. <laughs> oh, yeah, I am. Go Red. Thank you. This reminds me of that movie with the spinning top. Everything's confusing and a little bit off. For example, I wasn't even a WWE commentator when Red was in high school. Well, you're barely a WWE commentator now. None of this makes sense. Just sit back and enjoy the ride, Saxton. All right. Oh, Brooklyn Von Braun is a terrible human being who deserves everything she's getting here tonight. I could not agree more, Michael. I can't be held since Wait, since it's a dream, is there disqualification? Oh, I don't want to quit the match. I couldn't believe what Brooklyn did to their list. I mean, what did she expect was going to happen after that? Yeah, if you ask me, a Brooklyn's the real fart wad. This reminds me of the time I stood up to my bully in high school after years of being picked on. Weren't you homeschooled? Uh, yeah, but my sister was pretty tough back then. <laughs> if the principal shows up, Brooklyn started it, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Totally. No matter what happens here, I think we can all agree that Red rules and Brooklyn drools, right? <laughs> Without a doubt. It's pretty clear at this point that Red is the far superior athlete. I thought that was the case coming into this match, and it's only being confirmed. These two are lucky to have each other as friends. I agree. You know, it actually reminds me a lot of my friendship with you, Corey. Only in this reality, buddy. This is just a preview of what Red's going to do when she goes on to become one of the greatest WWE superstars of all time. How do you know that's going to happen? Because Red from the future is having a crazy flashback to this fight she had in high school, and she's controlling her thoughts. Come on, Byron, try to keep up. <laughs> what are you guys doing after the show? Um, since this is just an imaginary match inside someone's head, I don't think we have to worry about that, Byron. Brooklyn might have an opening here. Oh, 
Brooklyn gets nailed with the sliding lunch tray takedown. Can Red oh, capitalize? Oh, She's going up top. Red with the picture perfect moonsault. <laughs> That's it. It's all over. Red cemented herself as way tougher and cooler than Brooklyn will ever be. That's exactly what happens when you make fun of Red. You pay dearly. I'm still kind of confused about everything that just happened, guys. Well, don't hurt your imaginary head, Byron. Don't hurt your imaginary head. She burned down the ego and broke the one. <laughs> Some would call me. No, Braun, not you. Not yet, at least. <laughs> Wait, 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 let me get this straight. You remember your fight with Brooklyn when we were in high school taking place in a WWE arena with a ring sold out crowd and commentators? The guy who can't remember the safe combination is questioning my memory? No, the guy who can't remember the safe combination is questioning your sanity. Whatever. I may have taken a few liberties with my story, but that is how I choose to remember it. Well, as much as I'd love to join you in rewriting history, that day is scorched into my brain because that's how I got my nickname, Trey. This is how it really went down. I want to I wanna stay in a hotel like that. <laughs> I mean, this is from the year, like, 2029, technically, I guess, at this point. This is how it really went down. This is their story. Dong dong. I didn't do the sound effect right. I'm sorry. Get my own action figure. Become WWE Divas Champion. Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey, being immortalized in semi-posable plastic is the greatest thing a human being can achieve. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What? Like this? That was a huge mistake. Oh no! I've unleashed Hot Head Red! I'm gonna take that marker, bring it to your grandmother's nursing home, and cross out parts of her chart so when the nurse goes to give her turndown service, she won't know to flip her over. That's right! I'm gonna give your grandmother bed sores! What is wrong with you? Calm down, deep breaths, maybe we can talk this out. I'm done talking! <laughs> This is what happens when you mess with the captain of the wrestling team. What are you going to do? Hit me with a steel chair? Put me through a table? I'm going to get help. Everyone already knows Hothead Red, but let me introduce you to her best friend, Trey. Get it? Because he busted his butt on a lunch tray. <laughs> Now her face matches her nickname. The guy was doing the fandango. He was fandangoing. My name's not Trey. It's Sean Moxley. <laughs> You think about it, Sean Moxley almost like if you say it fast enough, it sounds like John Moxley. I guess Sean Moxley. <laughs> that was by accident, I swear to God. Man. That could have been way worse. Yeah, Brooklyn could have posted a video of the whole thing online. Oh, wait, that's exactly what she did. I meant she could have dumped something worse on me, like mayo or hot sauce. And hey, at least she didn't destroy our list. So what? I'm not gonna do any of those things anyway. What do you mean? We were just embarrassed in front of the entire school and currently 672 people on the internet. 
We're I famous. bet a bunch of those are repeat views. Great. We're not even touching on the fact that I got beat up by a lunch tray. I'm never going to be a WWE superstar. I'll just go to college and get a lame job like my parents want me to. <sighs> I think you need to read the letter again. See? This is what I'm talking about. I can't even open my locker. What's your combination? 16339, I think. I don't think the backpack's trapped. Letter, right. please. Yeah, face through my Here we body. go. I think this section is relevant right now. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is, true. we did, but we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. And that life is one where you can have the freedom to follow your dreams no matter what they might be, to become anything you want. Using the only letter I have from my real parents as some sort of motor a cheap move. They're or right, cheap. though. You got a second chance in life, and you need to make the most of it. So why sell yourself short? Water. Fine. But when this whole WWE thing doesn't work out, I'm blaming you. It'll work out. I promise. Assuming you never have to wrestle a lunch tray. They're actually a lot tougher than they look. Someone left their backpack. For the record, my father loves me. My father, John Moxley, loves me. And he, and he didn't leave. <laughs> Neither did my mama. And they, uh, <laughs> they're not supporting their parents with their t shirts. They weren't old school style. Mustache's brother. Okay, so maybe my memory of that day is a little off. Severe emotional trauma will do that. <laughs> but did I really say all that stuff about her grandmother? Yep. You had some serious rage issues back then. Did you also forget that's how you got your nickname because you were always seeing red? No, I remember. And then Brooklyn tacked on the hot head part. <laughs> Gotta give her credit for that. You know, the rhyming definitely made it catchier. Hot head red, hot head red, hot head red. Okay, okay, we get it. Have you figured out that's safe yet? <sighs> no, but I'm pretty sure I use the same combination I've always used for everything, which is... I forgot what it was. I think it was 16399, but I wasn't paying attention. But I want to see what happens if I get it wrong. Just because I'm pretty sure it's this one, but I want to see what happens if I get it wrong. <laughs> and that's not it either. Step aside. My memory might be foggy on some things, but I had to open your locker so many times in high school that I think I remember. Got it. So it doesn't say it. It's just like. Uh. I'm sorry you were locked in there all alone for so long. Mommy won't ever let that happen again. There's something seriously wrong with you. You're just jealous. I'm we should get going. We can't be late. Hey, it? we got a message from President Johnson. Do you Do think you think impressed the most electrifying most president, president in United, United States, States history with history all your with career, career achievements? achievements? Actually, Actually, you do. All the, all the best on your big day, day, I'll be watching from the from People's, People's White House. House. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I voted for Kane. Of course you would, because you burn it down and Kane deals with fire. <laughs> I have to admit, that's funny. That's hilarious. My rock impression sucked, I'm sorry. I'm sure it did. And yet you have the last name of rock. How dare you? Ah, uh, Christ. Well, let me tell you something, brothers. The pink and black attack is so cool, dude. Bad. 
and males. My speech is ready. Is yours? Expecting to be entertained. I'm stop kidding. You think you're impressed the most? You deserve it. Congrats. Welcome to the club. To the club, you say. OCs. OG. Lucky to have been part of your amazing crew. Enjoy your moment in the spotlight. Welcome, everyone, to a special milestone episode for the Buzz and Cole Show. Today, we Working are... title. Cole, we're celebrating our 10th anniversary of doing this podcast. We've long surpassed the time frame that something can be considered a working title. Who are you? The working title police? No, I'm the <laughs> sanity police. Let me see your badge then. Okay, well, not only is this a huge moment in history for us... But it's also a massive weekend coming up with WrestleMania and the Hall of Fame ceremony headlined by the induction of best friends, Red and Trey. Hey, speaking of best friends going into the Hall of Fame together, when do you think we'll go in? Um, I mean this in the nicest way, but that is never going to happen. What do you mean? Well, we are best friends, but I've done my thing here and you've had a great career, too. But it's all been outside of WWE. Not to mention the biggest factor keeping you out, which is the Triple H incident. What? You mean when we invaded NXT together like 12 years ago? I would think he's gotten over that by now. No. I mean when three years ago someone spray-painted Triple H as a stupid turkey on his driveway. For the last time. That wasn't me. Cole, he has security camera footage of you doing it. Plus, you always call people turkeys. Anyone who thinks I would do something like that jeopardizing my career and my best friend is a giant stupid turkey. See? You just said it. It's only because you said it first. It was in the ether. Well, I think we've managed to get wildly off topic, which, if you've been listening for the past 10 years, is par for the course around here. How about we take a quick break to regroup? Fine. I don't need a break. Only stupid turkeys need breaks. Tell them, Cole. And not you, Michael Cole. Cole, Cole. Oh my god. It's the finale. I still can't believe it's really all over for you and Red. Yeah, hey, John, I thought you were going to retire first. I know. It is starting to sink in, though. Just this morning, I was thinking about that time we faced each other in a false count anywhere match. Man, that was brutal. Yeah. But, thanks to you in that match, now every time my jaw hurts, I know it's gonna rain. Really? Maybe you should get that checked out. No way. You might be the champ who runs the camp, but I'm the champ who knows when it's damp. Yeah, that doesn't quite have the same ring to it. I believe he said something like, hey, pull that match up on your phone. Because I guess we have time. Oh, yeah, let me just log into my WWE Network app. Oh, yeah. I don't, oh, wait, that, 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 that message from my wife, don't, don't pay attention to that. Dang it, Gallows. 
Stop sending me funny cat videos. I spoke to Trey and AJ before this match, and both men admitted they didn't have a lot of experience in falls count anywhere matches. Taking that into consideration, Trey did tell me he used a rather unusual training method to prepare for tonight. He played hours and hours of false count anywhere matches on WWE 2K. Yeah, because nothing will prepare you for one of those brutal matches of your career, quite like sitting on a couch playing video games all day and night. What an idiot. Adam. Oh. And in the corner. I see how it is. Bulldog! Delivered with force. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. If you want to know why AJ Styles is determined to be the best this industry has to offer, check out the tattoos on his torso. I'm no stranger to ink. I mean, it's my show, Superstar Ink. AJ's tattoos catch your eye because they show what's most important to Styles, his family. Power drop kick! How impressive was that reversal? Ooh-wee! Oh, Corey, he unloaded there! Wow, what a sequence! Oh, again! Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. AJ Styles beginning to look a bit rattled. Yeah, Styles is definitely off his game right now. Things are not looking good for him right now. Yeah, those tattoos we discussed, if you could... And here we go! Oh, look into the arm bar! Whoa, he, he works his way out. Up in the fireman's carry. Corey, a Falls Count Anywhere match can turn an entire arena upside down. How can a superstar put themselves in a position to win? A competitor must put themselves in a position of power, position of control. Render your opponent immobile and continue the assault. It's all about making use of your surroundings. You can't take anything in the environment for granted. AJ Styles with a nice reversal! When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Neck breaker! So smooth. Toss to the outside. Gets him with a counter. Back in the ring again. Middle rope. Oh, he's really taking it to him. Man, this is not good at all. That's what she said. That doesn't make sense. This has been a battle. <laughs> After I spoke to Trey and AJ before this match, and both men admitted they didn't have a lot of experience in falls count anywhere matches. Taking that into consideration, Trey did tell me he used a rather unusual training method to prepare for tonight. He played hours and hours of false count anywhere matches 
on oh, WWE geez. 2K. Yeah, because nothing will prepare you for one of the most brutal matches of your career, quite like sitting on a couch playing video games all day and night. What an idiot. Uh, actually, I've been backstage, but I haven't had much experience. I guess just because, like... Oh, I knew that was coming. Here. I mean, what the hell? Look at all the screen. It looks, looks so weird. R1 to open? R1. Can you R1? I just pressed. Oh, day. Excuse me, Mr. Styles. You forgot your. Straight oh. punch! Ooh. Oh! You forgot your briefcase! So, this is the things I get for working overtime. Okay. Well, that didn't really work out. Oh! Uh-oh, and for the power bomb. Never mind. At least you tried. Uh-oh, he's got him set up here. Looking for the suplex. No, uh -oh. no, no, no. Neck breaker. Why is that not a mid cover? Oh, stomping be. away. Or that you should be able to do that if you can counter there. For the record, I always thought that. Saw that one coming. Spear. Wait, this is false count. Oh, wait. I don't have pin combos. That's right. Schoolboy from behind rolls through. How do you come back from that? Oh, man. AJ Styles is in trouble. Get the steel chair. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. I don't care. I'm just gonna go up this referee. Oh, oh again! Daniel Bryan, let's get him. Don't tell me about the environment. Oh wait, there's my mom. Hi, mom. She didn't want to say hi to me. I wasn't gonna hit you with this chair. Well. Promise not to. Let's see what goodies can I find in this trunk that I didn't even lift up. I just magically pulled this out of my AJ book. Styles is bleeding profusely now. He's dictating right. the pace of this match now, guys. Yeah, and he seems to have an endless oh. supply of energy. Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. Big boot! <laughs> All right. Oh man, I forgot AJ has resiliency. I should actually be more careful. He might have been waiting on that one. Gonna climb this ladder. I'm on top of the world. Seriously, my head is hitting the right. Oh, look how it is. If we're seven feet, two foot tall, we couldn't teach that. Get off my plane. What's my, what's my second push? What the? Oh. Should have moved. Should have moved. Rolls through. AJ's in big trouble now. He's looking for the win. There's something wrong with my referee. One. And he Still manages fighting. to get the shoulder up. I don't know where he's finding the strength to stay in this one. That's it. This referee's going down. And by down, I mean really down. And by really down, I mean I'm taking him a trip downtown. And by downtown, I mean to the floor. If I can find him. Get a good, good whack. Again! Ugh. Hey, it seems to be working for him. Incredible!
There was a lot of force behind that one. He's getting a little batter now. Falls count anywhere matches are uniquely demanding. He should know that. Whoa, it's another reversal. No, another reversal. <laughs> Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. Oh, I had that well scouted. Style just unloading on his opponent. Phenomenal blitz. Phenomenal blitz or blitz? I think he said blitz. Great evasion. Oh. Kick right to the midsection. Into the side of the tip of the wall. Good gracious. No, buddy, come back. I just want to be your buddy. Okay. That silly thing is hanging out there doing nothing. I wish I gave it back to the field. Come on, AJ. It's dinner time. And the cane only came with it. Big <laughs> elbow. <laughs> Why? Just a dizzying attack to the head. Dizzying. That's a great way to describe this assault, Cole. Okay. Did someone order the lunch tray? Because I'm throwing, because my name is Trey. Trey's throwing all the trays. <laughs> Yikes. Ooh wee. Oh, she's. Wheelbarrow face buster. Man, he's struggling a bit here. In his current condition, the stipulations are to his disadvantage. Spinning Someone arm breaker. Send the help. He's one step ahead there. Great technical know-how on display. Oh, ow. I'm gonna go see who that is. Well, I guess it's Drew McIntyre, maybe it's Jackson Riker. I don't know. Someone. Oh no, it's one of the war, raider, war raiders. I almost said Viking Raiders, but no, they're the war Pops raiders. him up. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, he's in the position. I have to say, I feel like we are just one move away from claiming a winner in this one. One more move or one more. Mi okay, I have to check. I don't want to sell PayPal. Oh. This step, either one can do it. Loaded up and ready to strike! Why do you sound like you're crying, Byron? Oh, here come the strikes from Styles! Oh, he's gonna be counting stars tonight! Really pathetic. I think AJ Styles is done playing. That is a great reversal. No, what are, what are you doing? Schoolboy from behind rolls through. Ref, get ready to raise his hand. That's got to do it. Here's a cover. Could be it. One, two. Near fall there. after near fall in this matchup here. This is amazing. AJ, use resiliency. Because I'm a smart mofo. You wouldn't know being that smart. AJ Styles with a nice reversal. Hey, Mr. McMahon, can I come in? Still have nothing, probably. I'm Mr. Man, damn it. Put him on the wall. Scoop oh, slam! Vince isn't here. Come on, Vince. What is that? That looks like a poster for Dirty as well. Oh, it's not gonna be good. This is not gonna be good. <laughs> That's it. You know what?
This, this doesn't has even less to do. Try five. Oh, nasty impact. <laughs> Double stick. Oh, and that's the second time. You don't want to get hit with that once, let alone twice. He is efficient and dangerous with his offense thus far. He's flipped the switch, that's for sure. I want to pick up the flower plant. There's still really nothing to do here. Which is disappointing. Like, there's so much you could do in that field, but... Nope. Not much. Nothing. I'm going to toss you into the couch, AJ. Ow! He went into a dinosaur. His shoulders are down. It's got to be over. The dinosaur teeth went into his back. I would love to know what made him think that was a good idea. This ref needs to work on his cardio. It gives him a DVP or win. The makeup artist's chair is gone. I stole it. Where did you come from? Is this referee? Man, he's just lost. The referee does not know where he's going no more. <laughs> I can't. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. He lands the chair again! He's borderline barbaric tonight, guys. Damn right. Using the extinguisher as a weapon. Do hear that thud? What a reversal by AJ Styles. Styles what? is always thinking. Just caught flush. AJ Styles has got him. This may be the beginning of the end. Oh and One, shoulders are down. Two. I'm Kick not out. sure if the referee didn't blow that call. Too soon. Okay, you end this match. You end this match. Showing some quickness. And this match can change that oh, fast. Oh, this is truly oh, awesome. Oh, Whack! Oh, Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Lightning right. fast reflexes. Stop it. You're freaking me out here. I'm sorry I made you so mad. We We've got a raucous crowd here in Philadelphia tonight, but what else would you expect after playing home to East? I spoke to Trey and AJ before this match, and both men admitted they didn't have a lot of experience in falls count anywhere matches. Taking that into consideration, Trey did tell me he used a rather unusual training method to prepare for tonight. He played hours and hours of false count anywhere matches on WWE 2K. Yeah, because nothing will prepare you for one of the most brutal matches of your career. Quite like sitting on a couch playing video games all day and night. What an idiot. Can there be frustration mounting in these competitors, knowing it's going to take more to win this one? You can't let those feelings seep into your psyche. You have to keep your focus. Listen to this place. It's electric. Oh, and a big right hand. Mm -hmm. Unloading. Reverses. Can he make him pay? What's gonna happen here? So nah, don't do this. this. Oh gosh. Sunset flip. Oh, oh. power bomb. That's it. Back in from the floor. Looking to end this. Oh my God. Here he goes for the win. Then he closes it out. Whether you like it or not. There's the match right there. Let's watch again how AJ Styles was toppled tonight. Yeah. He was on point the entire match, as you can see here. Here is your winner, Sean Max Lee. The shoulders were down for three, and this one's in the books. AJ Styles is going to have to work a little bit harder to become a true contender in the WWE. I have no doubt he will. And as we expected, WWE Extreme Rules has been a brutal evening. He's going to have to work really hard to, be a to become a true competitor in the WWE. Really 
talking about? Did he just come up? Apparently AJ Styles didn't want it bad enough. Hashtag not top, not top 20. <laughs> I don't know. I guess since I played the AJ match, I guess I should play the Natalia match. I actually did not play the, the Natalia match last time. It's kind of a spoiler. <laughs> I just didn't remember the match. I'm a phenomenal AJ Styles, and you beat me. Damn, dude. Kill me. I just wanted to congratulate you, Red. You really deserve this. You deserve it. Thanks, Natty. I know we had some differences over the years, but we always worked them out in the ring. Yeah, except that one time we got into it backstage. <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't. You threw me into a road case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What were we even fighting about? The usual stuff. Who was better, the title, you saying you were the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. That's right. Now I remember. That's right. Now I remember. But pull it up on the WWE Network. I guess it's a brawl. Not a match? Yeah, my match was better. Because it wasn't a brawl. Brawls end with knockout. This ends up with a pinfall. Makes you feel like more of a man. I AJ Styles and questions get out, getting out of control. Things have clearly gotten personal between Red and Natalia. This is on Red for claiming she was the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. That was pretty much a direct shot at Natty. Natalia is certainly proud of her legacy and will go to any lengths to defend it. Oh. Carefully measured knee drop. What knee drop? Been kicked that right to the gut. Arm. The Florida Super Keys. Wow, that was impressive. Well, that says I threw Natty to throw it to the road cases. That was not the road cases. Natalia's a third generation WWE. superstar and extremely confident, but pedigree and confidence can only get you so far in WWE, especially in a match like this. What does Natalia have to do here to pull out the win? I think it's pretty obvious. Natalia's best strategy has to be soften her opponent's back You're to prepare for the patented Hart family sharpshooter. That's the ace in the hole and the reason why Natalia's so confident. <laughs> oh! Um, Wheelbarrow suplex! Devastating. Oh, yeah, here's Natalia. No, now, oh, trampling the opposition. Uh. Amazing reflexes on display. So, and another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Oh, again! Uh, super super kick. kick! Oh, look at another attack above the shoulder. She's made her point and can now admire her handiwork. Yeah, what I tell you. Not as good as the phenomenal ass match. A. Jaya a style. I get some more people to come in because the last thing I want people to have to read is make those ladies strip. <laughs> yeah, no. This ain't a blonde panties match. No, 
our swimsuit competitions. Curious because it's already trying to upgrade it anymore. Oh, dang! Wow. Okay. Um, I want to get springboard. Oh, okay, so I need all of that. And reversal. I don't really need that one, though. So I'm going to go back. Okay, so I want to go that way. I know that one goes back. Stamina, yes. Ooh, ladder daredevil. I'm all about that high five lifestyle. More stamina. Arrow range, I need that. Well fired up. So much. <laughs> Can escape, yeah. We have all sorts of skills I do. I guess I'll use agility. Okay. Ew. Sorry. Moxley. I should have more attribute points because my match was better. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It wasn't even better. It was just plain phenomenal. 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 to go face loss live no Let me tell you something, brother. It ain't all about that mustache, dude. You need that pink and black attack, brother. Look at me. I'm like Brett freaking hard, brother. Mm, brother. Hulk it up, dude. Must mustache. Damn. Where did you guys go? Leave me alone. So now I need to go back because I need to edit something. And it needs, if you want to go, if you want to edit the payback system, you have to, wait, who am I on? I'm on me. I can just do the hands up too, but that will look even better. I'm this. Just keep up. There we go. There we go. It's not torture, brother, if you're paying for it, dude. If only for the chapter two, I need to buy. <laughs> Give him a short and sweet. Yes, I guess I need to come in here first. <laughs> Dang. 
Hey, it's X-Pac. Just keep walking, we don't have time. We always have time for X-Pac. Besides, you can't just ignore a WWE Hall of Famer. I can. Trey. Pac! What's going on? It's packed. Hey guys, looking good. You too. Thanks. I'm on this new mustard-only diet. As in mustard is the only condiment you use? No, as in I only eat mustard. I've already dropped like seven pounds. That's interesting. But enough about me. This is your big night. I swear it was just like yesterday when I first saw you two on the indie scene. Yeah, at that point we were only a couple years in. And I was about 30 years in. But I could still go today if I had to. I'm telling you, this diet's legit. I guess you could say you can cut the mustard, huh? Anyway, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. So, thanks. I'm sure you'd have been fine with it without my help. Trey, I don't think I can say the same for you. You were kind of the drizzling craps Jeez. back then, no offense. No, it's true. And I wasn't just a drizzle. I was more like a torrential downpour of crap. Shit. Red was always ahead of me from the moment we started training. Wait a second. Was this on the WWE Network 2? This was on the WWE 24. Red and Trey. Package deal. There you go. There's your headline. <laughs> Snow skier. Change light to blue. I'm a smurf now. Smurf tacular. Hey, you can use this credit card for whatever you need, but we keep the reward points. I'm about 10,000 short of a free trip to someplace warm, you? and you're, you're gonna help me get there. Deal? Got it. We are gonna miss no. you so much. Jeez, when did you get there? I just had to be close to you one more time. I, it, it feels like Don't yesterday we got that call. There was a boy in Denver who was ready to be adopted, and now you're all grown up and going off to college. I, I, I just can't believe it. I know. It's hard for me to believe, too. We'll come visit soon, okay? No, don't. I mean, a, a big part of college is learning independence, and if you're visiting all the time, then I'll never be able to do that. Just be smart about the credit card, okay? Like, if there's a big keg party, put it all on the card and have everyone pay you back in cash. That way, I'll be headed for that free beach trip in no time. Hey, maybe we could go on spring break together. Frank? I have to go. Okay, drive safe. This is the part where you get out of the car. <laughs> right. Call us when you get to school. We love you, Denver. I love Denver, too. Would you name your kid Denver after where you found him in Denver? This is what, is it, what do you think it was gonna be a good luck charm? By the way, you're not my dad. My father is John Moxley. <laughs> Stay hydrated. Do you believe this? We're finally doing it. Our very first list item. Where's Train Bob, at the dungeon. See his farm. Are you excited as I am? I don't think that's possible considering you've already had three energy drinks before we've even left town. <laughs> but this is <laughs> gonna be cool. I know. Think about how many top superstars came through Calgary. The Hearts, Edge, Jake the Snake Roberts, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and we're next. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have a long way to go before we can be mentioned in the same sentence as those legends. Everyone has to start somewhere though, right? And the dungeon is a great place to start. I still can't believe your parents were okay with all this. What happened to them wanting you to go to college? They changed their minds. Just like that. Just like that. Huh. Well, that's good. Hey, pull over real quick. Bathroom break already? No, I want to show you something. See that sign? Well, she did have three Our drinks. faces are going to be on it someday. You really think we can become more famous than the inventor of the paper toilet seat cover? He put a lot of butts in seats. And when we make it to WWE, so will we. What's with that face? I'm gonna make it to WWE. 
I don't know. My dad kind of told me about it, though, but it doesn't seem like it all fun. And then she's like, yeah, well, my father loves working there. Your father's a brick. <laughs> Kidding. Not controlled and all that. I love the Lambo talking. Dude. So this gives me an opportunity to kind of you know, uh, talk a little bit about them. So what I was going for with you know Sean uh, in a box here was basically that to give him the best image that I could of Dean Ambrose um, with the hair length of the face as it was in you know, 2 d Gord Wilson here, welcoming you back to Calgary Musings, your guide to living in the Stampede City. You know, it's that time of year where I like to remind everyone that in just a couple of short months, winter will be back. So while you're out enjoying the end of summer, keep in mind that pretty soon you'll be trading in tank tops for toques and sandals for skates. My point is, it's never too early to take inventory of last season's winter gear and make sure everything is ready to go before the first blast of cold air hits. Like I always say, you don't want to be caught with your snow pants down. Oh. One thing that isn't seasonal, however, is Calgary's love for professional wrestling. Which brings us to our sponsor for today's show, Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. Let's hear from the man himself. Hi, I'm Riley Flash. You may know me from WWE television when I carried the macho man's fancy chair to the ring or the time Papa Shango set my feet on fire. Uh, nowadays, I'm helping mold the superstars of tomorrow. So if you think you have what it takes to step in the ring, come on down to Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. And for a limited time, if you mention this ad, your first training session is completely free, other than a one-time non-refundable initiation fee. So if you think you have what it takes, then give me a ring, and I'll see you in the ring. Riley Flash is not affiliated with WWE in any way whatsoever. All sales final. Oh, okay. Good thing he's... I, I read the subtitles wrong. I saw him in the so I'm like, man, this guy's just trying to make sure that he used to be like, you know, you would get a chance to get WWE. Just come to my academy. He's so funny. He's like, yeah, what up, bro? Already, because I'm in college. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna check. Um, what 
All right, time for a road trip game. If you could face anyone who trained in Calgary in a dream match, who would it be? Isn't it a little early for road trip games? We still have like 2,000 miles to go. Come on, I'll get you started with some options. How about Bret Hart, Jake the Snake, or Rowdy Roddy Piper? Okay, so obviously, uh, you probably haven't heard this before, but apparently, like, if you press Bret Hart, your game crashes or it freezes. One of the two. So, I never picked that. Um, who was an inspiration of Moxley? Was it, would it be Jake the Snake or Roddy Piper? I feel like both. So, really no wrong answer. Um... That would be so cool to face a legend like that. Could you imagine? That would be so cool to face a legend like that. Her face, her her voice. That'd be so cool. Could you imagine? Picture brother. I would have to use my imagination. He was on the WWE network. Because it's happening now. See, watch it live. Here. Not while you're driving, Trey. I don't have that name yet. scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring from kansas city weighing in what? at 225 pounds sean max lee two of wwe's top stars ready to go here in one-on-one -on -one action this is the match i've been waiting for guys ever since it was announced i've been looking forward to seeing these two clash i'm not to fix that Hot Rod is here! And his opponent from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 230 pounds, Rowdy, Rowdy Piper! The legendary Rowdy Roddy Piper. WWE Hall of Famer, one of the all-time greats. One of the all-time greats. Hall of Famer, Hall of Famer. My gosh. Hall of Famer. It's amazing. Yeah, the unmistakable, hot-tempered personality. Fiery, volatile style inside the ring. Iron Hot Rod pretty much summed up your and I relationship in one phrase. Don't throw rocks at a man that's got a machine gun. So you know when you're on a long drive to the next town and to pass the time, you start coming up with dream match scenarios? Well, these two facing each other is exactly that. These are certainly two of the top names to ever pass through the Great White North. When I'm on a long drive, I'm mostly just thinking about how grateful I am to be Byron Free at the time. Ah, uh, you know you miss me. Not a chance. Oh, it is aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. I wasn't expecting that. Great one on one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. Looks like he's got it applied perfectly. Oh. Kick right to the midsection. Oh, Jesus. Oh, uppercut. Man. 
Great reversal. I gotta say, I'm impressed. Saw what he had in mind there. And again, yet another counter. Lariat. Good Lord. That was nasty. Perfectly aimed strike from Roddy Piper. Oh, that's, here's your favorite, Corey. Brilliant. Hot Rod is getting that look in his eyes. He's definitely dialed it up at the right time. He may be in a bad way here. Yeah, he needs to make an adjustment here. Not looking good, guys. Now Roddy Piper making him pay. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash! You build momentum. You look for victory. Every superstar is trying to do that when they step in the ring. And it's reversed. Paying for that mistake. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Setting up for the Bulldog! But Roddy Piper into the cover. And only a one count. Definitely has his work cut out for him. That's how you wear down your opponent. Uh-oh, uh-oh! Not gonna be good! Whoa, not so fast. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there! For the leg sweep. Nicely done. Oh, right up there. Reverses. Can he make him pay? Close line. Tough spot to be in right now for Roddy Piper. I'm not sure how he's even standing. This has become a monumental struggle for these competitors. It is down to who still has the energy, the resolve, to put the pedal to the metal. Harsh impact. Spin kick to the midsection. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. Not stopping the leg. Just nasty. Setting up for the Bulldog! Face first. He's going for the pin. And another kick out. He's going to take more than that. Ooh, what impact. And finds a counter. I think the crowd knows what we're about to see. Signed, sealed, and delivered. He's going for the pin. This could be it. One, two, and he got a near fall out of it. Not a whole lot of... I'm going to say this. And this is going to sound weird. What I don't like about this game, though, is that, like, his hand is, like, under the rope, right? Where you would have gotten the rope right. Well, what they do is they're here. And then just go like back to the side of their body. Like it helps you, but in a real life situation, who does that? <laughs> okay. Luster behind that kick out. Oh, and a knee to the face. And 
and Roddy Piper slips out of harm's way. Elbow drop. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Not going to be good. Head over heels. Yeah, incredible flip. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. It's already broken. Oh, what a right. Man, that's some attitude behind it. Someone's going to be walking funny after that. I can see up to the rafters, and there's not a single person sitting down. What an environment this is. All eyes are glued on this battle. Oh no. Focusing on the head again. That thing's got to be pounding right now. Bringing it back into the ring. Oh, look at that scoop slam. Over the top rope. Oh, this is vicious. Evading possible disaster there. Going for it again. Perhaps looking to knock him out. Shoulders down. The WWE Universe is on its feet. And deservedly so. These superstars are... This singles contest has the victor. That match is worth another look. Here we go. This was another great moment. That's what I love about the WWE. A match that lives up to expectations, but still finds a way to surprise us. Good stuff. Took on some damage there, but was still able to pick up the win. There's nothing more pure than picking up a win in a good old-fashioned one-on-one fight. You got that right, partner. Again, huge win here tonight. I hate to do this when freaking I'm like recording because I hate doing like the boring stuff, but if I don't take care of it now, then I probably might forget. So. Oh my gosh, what's she gonna do? Is she gonna talk to me? Dude, yeah, that would be so cool. You don't even get to ask her. Who would you like to fight out with Calgary? Whoa, I think there's only one girl. Welcome, Natalia. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe I need to send some bread. <laughs> Technically, and who am I to meet? God damn it. I didn't even check. Okay, I'm not even going to need any information. Personal information? This is just such good. Okay. Where did it say I was from? Where, I mean, where, was it Greg Hamilton? Where did he announce I was from? Maybe that's just where your my career character was, and they're like, oh, it doesn't matter what you put down. It doesn't matter. I'm not announcing you from there. But I need to go check the booth site. If it's what it is, that I did. Sorry, I Change it. I just want to make sure because it's not something I would give him. Is a snap near the end. Drop kick? No, like, pull this and just like, oh, it's gone. Gone. 
No, I gave up on her. And no need to smash. I guess we'll go back here. So. Whatever. <coughs> Make those ladies strip. <laughs> we need we need new comments up here. <laughs> uh that's probably just gonna stay there. Congratulations, sir. Everyone knows you are privileged now. I know you just left, but I miss you all right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, bye bye. Let me tell you something, brother. I changed in on blonde hair for my black hair. <clears throat> brother, 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 It's not torture to pay for it, dude. But I don't want to pay for it. Get out. <sighs> this is it. The home of the famous dungeon. I swear, I can almost hear the wrestlers of the past groaning in pain. <laughs> That's my stomach. For the past two days, I've had nothing but moose jerky, maple puffs, and poutine. Yikes. Look, I just want to say, I know I've been a little skeptical, but now that we're here, I can see us doing this. I mean, once Bret Hart hears how far we drove, he's going to have no choice but to welcome us right in for training. So, thanks for pushing me on this. Of course. Well... Here we go. Uh. Hey there. I bet you're here for Bret Hart, eh? Uh, hello. Uh, and yes, he's going to train us to be wrestlers. Eh? I'm not sure I'm using that correctly. Is Bret home right now? He is. Hang on a sec. Bret, two lovely people are here for wrestling training. He'll be right down. I'm sure he's just putting his tights on, gelling up his hair, finding his sunglasses. He's got to look the part, you know. Of course. Yeah, of course so are you Brett's housekeeper? Okay, seriously, guys? I'm messing with you. <laughs> so Brett's not home. No, and he hasn't been for years. The hearts don't live here anymore. But you said... This kind of thing happens like once a month. And I like to have a little fun when I break the news. How is that fun? We just spent three days driving here. And I gave myself severe stomach issues. At this point, we'd settle for one of the more obscure Hart brothers or even a distant cousin. Like I said, none of them are here. You seem like nice kids. Stupid, but nice. Next time, do some research before you decide to drive all the way up here. Jeez, so much for Canadian hospitality. I thought you said you checked all this out online. I did. I mean, I searched for dungeon in wrestling, and then some really weird stuff came up, and I kind of got sidetracked. Point being, don't look at my browser history. But hey, okay. we came all the way here. We should at least get a picture. First, let me take a selfie. Uh, can we do another one? I was making a weird face, probably on account of the stomach pain. Maybe you were right about us trying to become wrestlers. We've already failed at the first thing on our list. And maybe we're not cut out for this. Hey, wait, we can't just give up that easily. I have an idea. Yeah, I have an idea. I heard about it from a podcast. You know, that good stuff. The ones with the, the good 
things I came up with it. It's my idea. So you drove all the way to Calgary thinking you were going to train with Bret Hart? I've done some stupid stuff in my life, but that takes the cake. <laughs> okay. It wasn't our finest moment. <laughs> but since I had a dad who only looked at the rewards section on the credit card bill, we were able to stay in Calgary and learn from a former wrestler who, at least according to him, trained with the Hearts back in the day. I think he just ran next to one on a treadmill once. So that's how you guys hooked up with Riley Flash. Yeah. After striking out at the dungeon, it was kind of our only option. Even though Riley can be a bit much sometimes, he gave us the foundation we needed to get here today. He also gave us ringworm with his dirty mats, but that's a whole other story. Mm. Get the hose, big boy. Get the hose. Hose it down. One thing I can't stand is that he, he's loading screens. I don't remember how it was in 2K19, but he's loading screens. It's just, it feels like it takes forever, and you see the same stupid one. They're not entertaining at all. It's a loading screen. It doesn't have to be really entertaining, but it just feels like you're playing this game a lot longer. I actually heard about that from a freaking, um, from, uh, uh, New Day, uh, New, uh, New, New Legacy, okay, sorry, if I'm gonna mention them, I wanna make sure I mention it right, yeah, New Legacy Inc. on their My Career mode, <laughs> I've been watching it, uh, if you actually, like, <laughs> While they're outside, you you take your pump, you take a pump, <laughs> you decide. Oh, I'm gonna take. Oh my god! Head on collision course. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. I don't know what those. What the cat was like, but I guess that's too beautiful. Too. Oh. 
tag has been made. <clears throat> oh man, took over the room. Ha! And yet, he's feeling good about himself. Should stop showboating, you actually can tell him the road. Got that, the Get your feet up on the turnbuckle. Push off and roll backwards. You can pin him like that. Oh, oh, oh so close. Going down, going down. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's over. The legs aren't even in good, in good position, but he still can't find a way to slide oh. out of there. Shake it like a fish, man. <coughs> it's all right. Yeah. You did good. You did good. Catch your breath. We'll get him next time, all right? You good? <coughs> Riley was like, what a little sissy girl. That was awful, brother. So disappointed. The disappointment's true, brother. It's real. Real life, dude. I wish I believed. That's it. Working on. Oh, there's an El Mago poster. Guys, come here. We need to talk. Is that Finn Balor? I think it's El Mago and Finn Balor. Is it about your disgusting ring mat? Because I feel like it's making me itch all over. Hey! My leg! What was that for? For playing to an imaginary crowd. It cost you the match. Red, great job. Keep it up. Remind me why I show up here every day to get tortured? Like That's yeah, not torture if you're paying for it. Now, what wow. I didn't tell you was that match was actually a tryout. For what? Is WWE coming to town? Not quite. It was a tryout for the local Winterfest that's coming up. The organizers asked me to put on a wrestling event. That's great. Who are we going to face? I wouldn't mind a rematch against those two. Slow down. After what I just saw, only one of you was ready for their first official match. Sorry, Red. You'll get your chance soon. Uh, Red's the one who's ready, not you, doughhead. What? Did when it comes to in-ring ability, Red's got you beat by a kilometer. Isn't that less than a mile? Oh, thanks for the conversion, Albert Asswipe. Bottom line, you're too focused on the entertainment side of things. Well, maybe you weren't focused enough on the entertainment side of things. Didn't you only appear in WWE, like, three times? Uh, four, if you count the time I helped carry Macho Man to the ring on his fancy chair gimmick. You mean a sedan? No, it was a chair, not a car. Either way, I was in WWE four more times than you'll ever be. I'll make it there someday. It's on our list. Oh, yeah, and someday I'm gonna poop golden nuggets. No, no offense, Red. Whatever. You'll see. Congrats on getting your first match. You know I'll be there cheering you on. Thanks, I know. Uh, speaking of cheering her on, since you like running your mouth so much, you can accompany her to the ring as a manager. That actually might be a better fit for you long term. A manager? That's not what I'm here for. You'll figure this out. I know it. Oh, one more thing. I need to know what to call you so they can advertise the event. Oh, that's easy. I'm sticking with Red. Kids started calling me that in high school because of my temper, but I'm gonna turn it into something positive. Okay. Man, what about you? Sticking with Denver? Mm, I don't know. Sounds too regional. And Omelie. I know. How about uh, Albert Asswipe? Nah. That's actually not too Carl good. Botch? On account of all the moves you botch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I like that one. How about I pay tribute to my wonderful trainer and call myself Riley Flash Jr.? Oh, that ain't happening. Do you have any other nicknames? Trey! No, no, don't listen to her. I kind of like that. And you can spell it T-R-E, so it's kind of like three in Spanish, as in getting a three count to win a match. Which probably won't happen very often for you, but you get it, right? Yeah, I get it. Great. Then Trey it is. Thanks a lot. No problem, Trey. And hey, I just realized we can cross something off our list. Come up with awesome wrestling names. I don't know about the awesome part. 
when I just buy them something, if I've got freaking, like, you know, Seth Rollins is supposed to be my father in here, uh, Victoria's father, why did I go train at his school? <laughs> okay, so who's... Oh, wow, look at that. The titles actually have different colors. I think. I don't know if I'm scrolling up. Oops. I don't know if I've done for anything. I would much rather them just, they just call me, this superstar, instead of calling me Trey or Red. I mean, stink. First it was Buzz, and then there's Trey and Buzz. I couldn't. So I guess this is chapter three. So let's go ahead and read the email and then watch the cutscene and that'll be it. Okay, I will watch other than that. Heard you got heard you got on the winter fest show. You only get one first match. No for sure. Sorry, I can't get dinner tonight. I have plans with Mago Jr. Maybe next time. No, Josie. I wanted you. Don't go for him. <laughs> hey, what have you been up to? You've been very quiet lately. Making me nervous. Lots of study. Just really lots of study. College is hard. Oh, dang it. I wanted to go on the podcast. God. God wing it. Silly move. Twix up our kids. I didn't make any changes, so I really didn't lose anything. Da -da 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 -da. Loading, 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 and a circle. <sighs> Gord Wilson here, welcoming you back to Calgary Musings, your guide to living in the Stampede City. Welcome back to Women Who Fight, where we cover everything from the world of women's professional wrestling and mixed martial arts. I'm your host, Robin Ray, along with my good friend and MMA junkie, Kit Lasko. Hey. <laughs> so, Kit, I know you've been dying to talk about the Ronda <coughs> Rousey situation, so have at it. Well, look, everyone has already broken down Ronda's title loss to death, so I don't think there's any need to cover that, mm. okay? But what I do want to talk about is who's next. Mm. Assuming Rhonda is going to be out a while, who's the next big thing to come along in MMA and take over the division like Rhonda did? Oh, uh, well, I was prepared to discuss upcoming opponents for Charlotte's Divas Championship, <laughs> so uh, don't ask me. Okay, <laughs> uh, fine. Well, I'll just hit you with one name to remember. Mm. Brooklyn Von Braun. Okay. She was a state champion wrestler in high school who has recently made the transition to MMA and she looked absolutely dominant in her first couple fights. Brooklyn Von Braun. Von right? Braun. Von uh -huh. Braun. All right, got it. All right, so yeah. can we talk about Charlotte now? Dude, we only spent like 10 seconds talking MMA. WWE always gets the majority of the show. What's up? Well, it is my studio. It's your parents' basement. Yeah, that's been converted into a professional podcast studio. Your mom brings us oatmeal cookies and lemonade. Okay, do you not want her to do that? Uh, uh, no, I'm just saying we should be balanced with our coverage. <sighs> As always, women who fight also applies to your two hosts. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just take a break and sort this out. Yeah, whatever. Fine. I, I think I just heard the timer go off on the cookies anyway. Mm. They smell really good. Yeah. See? Mm -hmm. hey, Josie, you know, if you're going to have a podcast for two things, you make time for them. 
Josie, you lied to me. You said you would go you had plans with a Mago. And yet he's standing right there. I flash this in the background. Oh man, look at all these trophies that I've got. Man, Shane was very nice to give me his best in the world trophy. <laughs> I didn't steal it. Josie would be like Why didn't Mom want to run for me? El Mago would be like, You can do it! Team Canada, I give it four out of ten. I hope this will just take me straight to the match. I think it does, though. I don't feel like wrestling. I feel like. Uh... <sighs> Man, what are the chances I can bring this out to the ring with me? Zero, but you should be plenty warm out there with all the hot air you produce. <laughs> Can't believe you didn't have a bigger career with singers like that. Hi, sorry I'm late. I had to make like seven connections to get here from Orlando. Oh, hey, Peyton, no problem. I appreciate you doing me this favor. Red and Trey, this is Peyton Royce. We met when she trained here in Calgary, and now she recently signed with NXT. So who am I facing tonight? And by the way, it's cold enough to freeze the tail off a brass kangaroo. Can I have this heater out there for my match? Oh, sure thing, Peyton. What? You'll actually be facing Red tonight in her first ever match. Wow, it, it's an honor. We actually watch you on NXT all the time. And at least when my friend Trey here isn't hogging the laptop and watching weird videos of who knows what um, she's kidding i told you to stay out of my browser history yeah, wait did you say this is her first ever match yeah red's only been training for about three months but don't take her lightly she's really good three months it took me longer than that to get here and what kind of stupid name is red if anything with your lack of experience you should call yourself green <laughs> what anything she says with that accent is funny after I'm done with you tonight, you'll understand why they call me Red. Because all that pretty white snow out there will be stained red with your blood. And then every time it snows, the children who were here tonight will be reminded of the carnage they saw and refuse to go outside. And after you spend weeks in the hospital and are finally able to drag your broken body onto the airplane back to Orlando, the pilot will be so terrified by the sight of your mangled face, he will lose control of the plane, sending it crashing down to the earth. Whoa, and whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I think she got the point. You have major issues. Yes. Uh, what the heck was that? The old hothead red comes out when she gets angry. We've been working on dialing it back. I like the intensity, but just focus that on your match, okay? And if you can take a break while you're painting the snow red with Peyton's blood, maybe stop and soak everything in. This is your first match after all, which is a big deal. It's on our list. Sorry, you're right, and I'm happy you'll be out there with me. I'm gonna go stretch. Should I tell anyone with kids to leave? Nah, she'll be fine. I hope. He says, uh, you hope? That doesn't really give me much confidence there, Red. Let me try. I forgot who was hoping for a second there. Uh, maybe I should play it because the next part uh, does give me like the screen you know where you can select and what you want to do go to the home screen and messages oh just take me straight to the match okay Welcome to Winterfest 2015. As always, I'm your host, Gord Wilson. Now, like, 
comes to the arenas like this, I'm really not going to do too much talking because um, I turned the volume up on the commentary because I want uh, people to oh, look at the ref. He's doing the speed spray there. <laughs> I want people to hear like the unique commentary, I guess you could say, uh, from the uh, commentators that you never hear before. Because if you play in a match like this, if you play a match in this arena, like on uh, regular mode, obviously you get the regular commentators. Yeah, this can't be worse than last year's Winterfest, eh? The good news is most of the victims of the wild moose attack have fully recovered. The moose! The moose is loose! Now, since this is Red's first ever match, I put a few tunies on Peyton Royce to win. Oh, uh, I've just been informed there is no gambling allowed at Winterfest. Jeez, that'll make the kids' sled races a lot less interesting. Watch out for the red post. We'd like to thank our local sponsors, Secondhand Tukes, Larry Zamboni Driving School, and of course, Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. And bring your ticket stub to Riley's for a free picture of Mr. Flash himself after purchase of a commemorative frame for only $19.95. Wow. Expensive stuff here. I think a t shirt that was in the back for like 15 20 bucks. With that temper on red, oh, I would not want to be in Peyton's shoes right now. Also, they don't look very warm. They don't look very warm. Thank you. Eight. And I'm told Red's manager goes by the name of Trey and hopes to be a wrestler himself someday. You know, I wanted to be a big time radio DJ, but sometimes your dreams don't work out and you end up announcing local rodeos, spelling bees, and Winterfest events. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You know what? Uh, let's get back to the action. Peyton Roy is trained here in Calgary and is now an NXT superstar. You can watch her every week on the WWE Network, which recently turned one year old. Oh, crap. Now that reminds me, my wife's birthday is tomorrow, and I didn't get her anything. Hey, Todd, uh, run out and snag me as much Winterfest junk as you can for 20 bucks, and I'll pay you back. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Welcome back, Peyton. <laughs> it's clear Riley Flash has a gem of a student here with Red. Uh, he hasn't sent anyone to WWE yet, but I think she may be the first. Oh, okay, so they actually have the theater out there, wow. Two! is originally from Australia, but spent a bit of time training here in Canada. I wonder if she now says, good day, eh? Hey? Wait a second. Trey is finally doing something useful. Oh, 
Yeah, there's still another great match coming up where you'll see Calgary's own Riley Flash take on a surprise opponent. And I hear that winner pass loosen up the old purse strings to bring this person in. It would have been nice if they did that for their announcer too, but I digress. Hey Peyton, uh, koalas are cute, but they have terrible personalities, kind of like you. And uh, 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 the Great Barrier Reef is more like the just okay Barrier Reef. And and and, and boomerangs are a sham. They never come back when you throw them. Uh, I really don't know that much else about Australia. Uh, oh, 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 your chain of steakhouses is severely overrated. Remember my name.
That was awesome! It was everything I've ever dreamed of. <laughs> I'm numb with excitement, or maybe I'm just frozen, but either way, I get to cross two things off our list. And you did it without emotionally scarring any children. <laughs> Wrestle first match and win first match. Nice of your mate to help you out there tonight. Maybe if I see you again, I'll have some backup too. I look forward to it. By the way, I didn't really mean any of the things I said out there, especially about you having the personality of a koala. You're way more pleasant, and I'm actually a big fan of your people's blooming onions. You're a total bogan. Wait, is that a good thing? I don't think so. Congrats on your first yeah, win, Red. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Uh, and you're I'm not going to either, to Trey. What do you mean? It's been a last-minute change of plans. My surprise opponent for tonight was injured. Is that who I think it is? That's right. It's me, the King of Cuteville, Prince Pretty. Unfortunately, I slipped on some ice and stubbed my turning toe. Your turning toe? Yes, the most important toe, E.I., the toe one uses to turn on a runway. Ugh, I can't stand non-models. Anyway, it's a shame all these uggos here tonight will no longer get to see me compete against Riley Flash. Not that it would have been much of a contest. I mean, Look at this man. I have let myself go. He couldn't lace my boots on his best day. To be fair, some of my finer boots are slip-ons that don't have any laces, but you get the point. Anyway, Trey, I need you to take Tyler's place against me. I... I thought you said I wasn't ready. You're not, but I liked what I saw from you out there during Red's match, and also I don't have any other options. All right, I'll do it. First match. <laughs> Do you want a picture to commemorate this moment? That'd be great. <laughs> Nailed it. I'll post it for you. Hashtag mmm gorgeous. Man, thanks, Tyler. You think my hand got on there with those selfies? Oh, wow. Saw that. Uh, haven't been able to get a hold of you for a while. I need to talk. Call us back when you get this. Did you get your dad's text? Call us ASAP. Just follow up. Just follow up. Get your text. Had to leave early, but wanted to tell you a great match. Can't believe you beat Peyton. At least not it off. At least not with us. <laughs> At least not with us. Merry Christmas to you too. I don't and it says nothing says I don't think. What do you think I find uh, Spanish sexy? <laughs> what do you want from me? Danny said to one said we might as well talk to strangers. You know about fashion. Obviously. Go on. Well, I already went out there once tonight, so I want a different look for my match against Riley Flash. Do you have any last minute suggestions? Ah, the classic quick change, as we models call it. Well, when I look at you, I see three options that fit the theme and location of this show. Okay, so last time I did the speed skater, lumberjack, I'm really not interested in trying that one out, so I'm going. Prince Pretty. Mmm, gorgeous. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Who wore it better? I'm kidding. We all know I did. Good luck, Prince Not So Pretty. <laughs> I like that. Who wore it better? Good luck, Prince Not So Pretty. If 
Oh, we could have done this. Nope. Not going there. Don't worry, woman. I'll let you guys in my let me show you. Anyways. Thanks guys for tuning in. Um thanks for those who stuck with me through this journey. And we will continue to do this again from tomorrow. Uh, if I have time. Um anyway, thanks for tuning in. Hope you all have a great, wonderful day. And what a way to go out. And by looking at Prince Pretty. By looking at a gorgeous human being. Except that, that hat kind of throws it off the time. It really does. The gorgeous face is kind of ruined by the hat. The more pretty. Yellow is not very much of a color my friend. This beast looks pretty pixelated now. Fuzzier <laughs> than usual. What's in here? That light provides so much light. It's not even snowing outside anymore. Doesn't matter. I see what you're doing. Anyways, I was just kind of thinking about the mirror. Don't think it's too loud. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thumbs up, smash it in the face to the point where it's gonna say ouch. Yeah, no good ones. You wanna see the sad face? No good ones. And make sure to leave a comment down below if you want to chit chat or if you got any questions about why I, did, I made a Sean Moxley clone, son of John Moxley, my daughter, son of clones. I don't know more about their personality or their background. I don't know. You never know what I come up with. <laughs> Anyways, no, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. We're only gonna do more.